So that was the sound to this for the op black or op black switches. This is a linear switch from 423 Studio and was manufactured by JWK. And this was a homage to the next dwarf black switches. And as per the description, they made and developed a step-by-step -step process for the housing material to catch the original next dwarf switches. Now let's talk about the materials that was used on the switches. For the top housing, and I quote, Milky tab housing with a secret material similar to the Nixdorf black switches. The bottom housing is nylon and same mold as the H1 switches. 
it has a polished palm stem and for the spring it's a thick thock dl linear springs this is a progressive spring with the 65 gram bottom out with a 52 to 55 gram actuation now let's talk about my own impression and opinion on the op black or op black switches so disclaimer, I'm using a Vega 65 with one PCB foam and one case foam. Now let's talk about for the sound. I can say that this has a subtle clack and creamy sound to it, which I really like. And somehow it's slightly muted for the bottoming out. You can say that it has a deep sound and all I can say is that it sounds creamy and to me, I personally love the sound that it brings out on my Vega. Moving on to the feel, well, this one is really smooth. This was slightly lubed with 205 grade zero and it has no scratch and ping at all. It's my first time trying out a progressive spring and I'm actually loving it. I am more accurate when typing and as a progressive spring, it encouraged not to bottom out that easily. It feels soft to type on but not to the point that it feels light. So overall, I recommend getting the OP Blacks if you can, especially if you haven't tried Progressive Springs or Milky Tap Housing Switches. It sounds good, it feels smooth, and great to type on, not to mention the price is okay. I still prefer the Hyperglides for the sound, but for the feel, this by far is my top switches on my Vega. So yeah, that's about it guys, I hope you liked the video. Please feel free to share your thoughts over on the comment section down below. I would love to hear your opinion regarding the switch if you have, you know, if you have gotten them or if you already have tried them. So thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, consider subscribing, and if you want to see more videos, I'll see you guys on the next sound test.